this has been an incredible time for MIT Medical. It's been challenging, it's been rewarding, it's been emotional, it's been draining, it's been enlightening. We really started our COVID response planning in earnest probably about a week, week and a half before the campus emptied out, de-densified. Um, and that was because we, we just needed to get ahead of it. At that point, it was very clear to us that we were not going to be able to operate in any way, shape or form like we used to in person. And that the only path for us was telemedicine. Two appointments. I can join the session here if I want. You know, telehealth had been something that we had been thinking about. And once everyone was pushed home, you know, we really needed to be able to have a solution where we could still care for our patients. If we had done this following, you know, normal project management principle, this project probably would have taken us six months to roll out. You know, there's so many different pieces and we didn't have six months. So we were able to get it up and running really in a matter of weeks. I will update patient tracking, which is updating the area where all the- The first task we had to do was identify the providers that were going to participate. Then we were challenged with scheduling training, individual training sessions for each provider. And Tom, Sherry, and I did that. Currently, the primary care service, urgent care, dermatology service, they're all conducting telehealth visits. Additionally, student men mental health and counseling is using telehealth to connect to their patients. Most interesting or fascinating things for me was how quickly the clinicians gathered up and they discussed how you behave, what happens during these visits. They really talked about how you connect with the patient and, and they really had some fascinating concepts that they shared amongst themselves. And I just found that it was so interesting because we're on the technology side where we push the, the devices and, and the means and the mechanisms and they're actually using it and they're using it in a really, really cool way. You know, MIT Medical dates back nearly a century, and so uh, we've worked through some of the most uh, dangerous and, and, and deadly diseases over that time and keeping the campus safe. And with COVID, we've really redoubled our efforts around community health and public health. We're very, very lucky that early on in this process, um, working with uh, an MIT partner at the Broad Institute, um, we were able to stand up a pretty significant testing capacity much, much larger than any other university or college in the Boston area. And that's a big part of what's keeping the community safe right now. One of the things we're looking at as we go forward, it's not just replacing with telemedicine, it's also supplementing with telemedicine. A particular scenario is a student that is coming in to be seen and then goes back home. The provider can check in with the student wherever they are. You don't have to get in the car anymore to drive, to park. You can come as you are. You know, there's so many benefits to being able to do this sort of thing virtually. I do you think, you know, overall people like it and I think that it will continue to be a big part of MIT Medical.